folks and welcome to Valens Conservation Area. I've driven over an hour to get here today because I heard that the, uh, well I read on the website that the ice fishing season is open here. A little nervous because nobody else is here. It's 8 in the morning on a Monday so I guess people might be working or whatever. Uh, I see sled tracks going out on the ice. I know some people who were out here yesterday so uh, I don't see any reason otherwise that I'm not supposed to be ice fishing here today. But uh, yeah, a little nervous. It's been kind of warm. <clears throat> Supposedly there were six, seven inches of ice here and then there was a bunch of rain. And last night was only minus one. The only access that I see is a beach. I've never ice fished here before. Um, but I see sled tracks going right off the beach from God knows when. So uh, I'm going to spud my way around. And hopefully get on the ice today for some pike or panfish today on action angling here's how we drill holes today oh yeah just chisel them out i think i dragged that power auger out here all right there's three holes here old holes and 10 feet of water, which is deep enough to hold a fish. I think I'm just gonna camp out here and maybe if, if other people come out, I might get a little more ballsy, but not when I'm by myself out here, it's freaking warm. Now the hose froze up last night, so it shouldn't have lost any ice since yesterday, but as today goes on, it may. It's about four inches here. But it's honeycombed. Lots of air bubbles. Uh, not the greatest looking ice. But it is black ice. It's not white. I have been on worse. Just bouncing uh, a spoon around to get a lay of land here. I am going to put a second rod out for pike because I know there's pike here. I don't have any live meadows with me. I brought some salted ones. And sardines. Small sardines, big sardines. I imagine that uh, if anything I'll put a small sardine on because I don't think there's very big pike here. It'd be nice if there was like two more inches of ice. Then I'd explore a little bit. But it's more about the game of just getting out on the ice. I don't know if my chances are better here or worse than a, a creek right now, but I have uh, basically had it with the creek fishing for the next couple days. For now, I'm going to run the Thompson's tail spinner and I'm going to tip it with minnows. And I'm just going to go over and give it a jig every once in a while. And that tends to work for small pikes. Alright, she is set up. I'm going to jig with the teardrop and see if I can get a fish to bite. Marking the uh, panfish. Ooh, that one looks like he might have went for it. This might be a better spot for a pike. Who knows? Who knows? First time ice fishing here, and the last time I fished here in a boat, I was 15 years old. So I don't remember much about it. I remember we caught some big bass, but that doesn't help me. I don't remember catching a pike at all. And we didn't really drop anything panfish wise we were just bass fishing and uh, since then it's been pounded really hard to the point where they've had to put a voluntary catch and release policy on the place which voluntary is like oh well it's just a suggestion well no not really I mean they may not be able to give you a ticket but they can not let you back in so if you do come to Valens and you're lucky enough to catch a fish don't keep it I wouldn't suggest it Somewhere out here will be a concentration of fish. I'm sure of it. Got a fish out here. Definitely got a fish out here. On the pike line. Just took it and screamed. Actually feels like a pretty good one. Hard to tell though. Oh, not bad, not bad. Oh yeah. Yeah, 
He's 20 inches probably. Took that Thompson steel spinner. See, put the minnows. Yeah, he wasn't getting off. Okay. First little pike of the day. Put a 20 incher. Get him back in there. Beautiful. He's good to go. Checked out a bunch of other holes. Just dropped this down like that. Teeny tiny bike. Spoon tip with a minnow. It's alright, it's another fish anyway. <laughs> Perch sized bike. Look at that, he's got blue lips. That's kinda cool. Off he goes. Seems like this place is uh, a lot of pike and a little perch. I know there is crappies and bluegills, but probably gotta know exactly where to go to get them. Park staff came around. Soon everyone's pretty much having the same go today. This one. Look, perch. Well, holy cow, right? He came at that three times. I just had a little tiny minnow on a teardrop head. Eventually, I got him. Back where I started, I'm just gonna Okay, but yeah, my whole lucky froze. I camp out here for about an hour and then head on out. It's a bit of a drive home. Fishing's not exciting. Just about over it right now. Well, good to get out though. Good to get on the ice yet again. Got some cold nights coming up this week, so uh, might be a couple more options. Can't really pick and choose where you want to fish right now. Either drive three hours or go to the one or two places that somehow have four inches of ice. I don't understand how this one lake has enough ice to walk on and the ones one hour south of here have like an inch. I've even been checking like irrigation ponds and yeah, they're just as bad down by me. Like I said, these cold nights might do the trick. Might have a few more options. I'm actually dying to get on a couple of those irrigation ponds for a mystery target that I will not reveal yet. It's been about an hour. I've marked one fish. One small one. Guess it's about time to pack up. Ladies and gentlemen, it wasn't the most exciting day on the ice. Caught a couple of fish though, found some ice. That's the most important thing right now is finding some ice in Southern Ontario, period. 
Took about an hour drive, which is not bad. I know a lot of people are driving north of Lake Simcoe right now, which is about a three, three and a half hour drive for me. So uh, it's nice to have options close to home anyway, until things firm up a little bit closer. But yeah, thank you very much for tuning in. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and hit all of your friends that don't do the same thing. I freaking love you, every last one of you. We'll see you next time. Chop, chop. Hey, no, no, no.